Now, two persons who tested positive for coronavirus at Old Fadama here in Accra are on the run three days after confirmation of their tests. Contact tracers had a tough time convincing them to agree to come into isolation and have since left the neighborhood. Contact tracers are currently on the ground with police trying to at least convince those who may have been in contact with them to take the test. Head of our health desk, Fred Smith, is there with the details. Um, well, he's here with us in studio. Fred, how did this happen? Well, uh, on, they've been going around since the enhanced contact tracing began. And on Sunday, uh, they took samples from a number of people within Old Fadama. And they got results on Monday that some two individuals were positive, a man and a woman. The woman, we know details about that she's a Kayayo uh, who turned out positive. Now, uh, they had conversation with her so they can have her go into isolation so that she can be taken care of. But she refused to go with them. So the contact tracers had to now make contact with the police to try and force her out of the place. Now, this lady uh, ran away. She, she never made herself available. And then they've been going there ever since. There's no trace of this lady. Uh, today, I joined them as they moved in. And uh, the entire community was in total chaos. Everybody coming around and uh, even preventing the officers from taking samples from persons who may have already uh, come into contact with them. Uh, mind you, this lady lives in a single room with 15 other people and, and three children, one room, and she is positive. Um, what's being done about this threat? Well, they, uh, it's a reason they brought in the police to help. There were some immigration officers as well to help in bringing them uh, these persons to order. The community leaders, before I left the community, had agreed with the security and the contact tracers that they were going to get this lady uh, to submit to government treatment. But they want this done on Sunday. Between that, this time and Sunday, the lady is still on the loose. Why are they unwilling to have their samples taken and coming? Well, there, there, there's rumor in the community that uh, these persons, contact tracers, are there to uh, draw their blood and give it to government for some rituals. And uh, it's amazing, Daniel, you hear people uh, say these things. So because of that, those who may have been exposed to this lady are still unwilling to give their samples out. Fred, thank you very much um, for those updates.